Well, there's no reason why we have to make this case complicated. Plus, I don't know how to make things complicated. They're complicated enough already. You already know this is a colon, uh, or at least some gastrointestinal organ. You can see a very thick muscular layer out here. You can see a looser, more vascular, big, uh, maybe even hyperemic submucosa. You can see some fat out here, and you can see a mucosa. Now, you know, most of the diseases of the uh, bowel of any type are uh, mucosal diseases, so we also don't have to waste any time looking at normal muscle or vessels or connective tissue or studying this little sheer artifact over here. So let's go down to the mucosa. Even at this power, you could see there's a lot of red streaks. And it's not like it's just maybe congested blood. Some of it go all the way to the surface. Is this colon bleeding? Well, uh, you're getting more and more the feeling that maybe it is. Notice that not only is there hemorrhage and uh, extremely dilated vessels within the mucosa, or specifically the lamina propria part of it, but this extends to the surface. And in addition, on the surface exactly, uh, there is fibrin, some infiltrate of uh, acute inflammatory cells, and ulceration of the epithelium of the lamina propria of the mucosa. Uh, this is a colitis. Um, you know, uh, the large bowel is filled with nothing but bacteria, probably a gazillion different types. Uh, sometimes, under certain circumstances, the bacteria that are in there can cause infection of the wall that's supposed to separate them from the rest of the body called the colonic mucosa. Sometimes bacteria which shouldn't be there but are or overgrow can cause this same type of uh, uh, process. This is a bacterial infection of the colon. Specifically, it's called bacillary dysentery. And whereas bacillary dysentery, you would think, would be perhaps uh, any uh, bacilli bacteria, causing inflammation of the colon. It's usually referred to for the specific bacteria called Shigella. When you run down the list of common bacteria that inflame, in fact, uh, could ulcerate the colon and therefore not make it work and produce dysentery or diarrhea, the words Salmonella and Shigella are always at top of the list. Shigella is usually worse because Shigella often produces hemorrhage or blood in the stool. Salmonella usually doesn't. So whenever you see something like this and you were to ask, is this Salmonella or Shigella, you would know the correct answer. In addition, a whole bunch of other things are on the list. Offhand, I can remember things like Campylobacter, Yersenia, even E. coli can cause uh, bacterial colitis. This happens to be specifically, however, uh, Shigella colitis or bacillary dysentery. There is nothing specific about this to absolutely be sure it's Shigella, but you know it's something that's causing uh, blood in the stool, and that's what Shigella does, although others can as well. Thank you very much.